Happy New Year everyone, welcome back for another video. In my previous video, as the last video of the year 2022, I showed you some variations on how you can do elbow imaging. Today, we are back again and we're going to show you how you can do it on the arm. I'm going to show you a few variations. We're going from this, to this, to this. So we're going to combine different coils and how you can, you know, like put in a patient in the right position, in a comfortable position, tune in, and I will show you. Hey everyone, for those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, check out my previous video regarding the elbow imaging. But today we're gonna go for the underarm and I'm gonna show you a few variations. So enough talking from me, let's go to the scan and I will show you. All right, so let me show you how I did the imaging of this underarm and the different sequences, also the different position of the patient. So let's get started. We are 3T, but as you can see here, I'm doing three different uh, sequences, two transversal T1, T2, and one coronal T1. So I'm just going to try to position the, the transversal T2 here, and we're going to do the same for the T1, just copy it, everything, so it will be in the same position. Just like this, just copy the parameters. And the reason for having a low scan time like this is because I'm using deep learning, uh, the deep resource boost. So it's important for me to go fast because lying with the underarm, the coil and everything packed like that, it's, it's not good compared to a, like a knee or head imaging. So it's important you try to be fast here. And also have a good localizer, fast and efficient localizer, so you can do a good image uh, positioning of the planning of the different sequences. So as we can see, uh, the coronal is covering a large field view, just trying to cover the whole underarm. And uh, yeah, I will show you some results. As you can see, the results here, this is a T1, T2, and the coronal, the same on the low row here and the same here. So we have in three different positions, as you can see here, one is the arm forward, just like some kind of Superman position. The next one is arm downwards, it's a more comfortable way, but it's also a little bit more challenging if the patient is um, large, big, because you need to have the arm at the isocenter as possible in the middle of the table. And then the last one is just, I was curious if this body 18 coil, the flex, big flex could handle the imaging like this. And uh, yeah, I will show some of the results. Let's go for the first one. The first one, as you can see, T1, T2, and coronal. The arm is lying like this. It's okay for a certain time of amount, but if the scan time or the examination is too long, it will be very difficult for lying like that. And then the shoulder will hurt. The most comfortable way is like arm downwards. And uh, like, like I said, it can be a little bit more challenging. You have a lot of anatomy around you and you have to need to avoid uh, fold over. So, the scan time can be a little bit longer because you need to use face over sampling to avoid, yeah, or shift the face encoding direction. But the image is, is, is good having these coils because you can see I'm having the 18 channel flex, ultra flex, the large one and the small one. And whenever you're using this, I recommend you to do not put the hand directly on the coil. Please use a uh, cover or something to prevent burns and also if you want to use these two coils combination, I found out that try to wrap the small one first and then wrap the big one on the outsides because you have a good overlap right there. And I was curious because not everyone have all these Ultrafax coils. You have maybe an older system. So the Body 18 does this handle the same image quality. For these parameters which I was using, which was more dedicated for the Ultrafax, the 18 channel body 18 couldn't handle it. The, the quality is okay, but it's not that great. But the body 18 channel is, you can use that if you tailor your sequence to that specific call, which means that in terms of I have a little bit low SNR here, so I need to gain a little bit more SNR in terms of the scan time will be a little bit longer, of course. But yeah, the chances of using the big large body 18 is also possible. Well guys, that's it. I hope you find this video valuable. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. How do you do MRI underarm imaging? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, 
Do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe. Hit on the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. I will catch up with you in the next video. Take care. Peace out.